did you watch the movie P.S. I Love You because Jeffrey Dean Morgan was in it? I, I did watch P.S. I Love You, and I got way too much of Jeffrey Dean Morgan's butt. <laughs> <laughs> did you cry in it? Did, did I cry? Yes. I did not cry. It's, it's, it's hard to cry when you know somebody in it, because I keep on thinking like, there's Jeff's butt. <laughs> So, kind of, you know. I mean, I'm sure it's very nice. For all you ladies, I'm sure Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a hard throw. But, you know, I'm just kidding. I gave, I sent him a text message that day. I was like, hey, dude, um, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to be in LA in a week. Love that dinner. P.S. I love you. He sent me back to the effect of, like, you know, of course, let's hook up. By the way, that's about the 4,000th time. I was, like, I was so ashamed because I thought about myself. I thought I was so clever. Uh, but I did not cry. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, about right there. Yes, ma'am. of little points, but I get it. Many, many funny stories about Jeff. One of my favorites is he was 
he was um, he was kind of double dipping with Supernatural and Grey's Anatomy at the time. Woo! Um, yeah. Uh, and so he was he would work all day uh, on Grey's that filmed in L.A. and then he would take like the red eye flight up to Vancouver and then start at like 6 a.m. and work all day and then. So there was just there was zero sleep and he was just a wreck. And, and a lot of dialogue in both shows. Yeah, tons of dialogue. And um, there was this one scene. Uh, I forget what episode it was. Well, there was no Roadhouse of sorts. But was, yeah, it was, it was like the second to the last because it was the last two episodes of season one. We were in a Roadhouse getting ready to go try and find. Yes, one. and it was it was just the three of us in the scene. And Jeff was he was so fried um, that he we had to put up literally. Cards and, and, and uh, for his dialogue, like holding signs in front of us that the camera couldn't see, and it, he would just like reading off our chest. Then he would look down, and there'd be like a post it note on the desk, and he'd read another line there. He'd look up at the ceiling, and somebody put a card up there, reading the card. And it was, I mean, we got a lot of mileage out of that. We still did, but uh, I certainly didn't, didn't be in that position. Dialogue and character for one show, much less two in the final. Yeah, he's very loved. And we miss him on the show greatly, but uh, but I guess he's, you know, kicking ass in other places. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? He killed your favorite one? <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> well, there's, there's, um, there's a bit of a formula, I guess, that um, that I know that we have we have used on our show several times, and it's not surprising that they're using it in other uh, shows like uh, Walking Dead. And that is, um, if you want to really create tension, you want to really get your fan base, you know, riled up, you kill a favorite. Exactly. So it's you know there's there's reasons that those happen. It makes for TV. Movie and TV. <laughs> That's why we've never killed Castiel. Oh. Yeah, so, that's why Misha and Mark are still on the show. <laughs> Somewhere, Shepard just goes, "What? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you?" you guys uh, are here and thank you so much for being here and I think you're doing a great job playing the complexity of the situation that Mary's in with the boys and trying to come back from bed so thank you so much. Um, my sister wanted me to ask what was it like to work with Jeffrey Dean Morgan? What was it like to work with him? Well great I mean I it was so brief and it was so long ago. Um, I've seen him since like at conventions and stuff and he's just ever lovely charming and exactly what you'd expect. Um, like funny and self-deprecating. Attractive. Just really <laughs> unfortunate. Um, uh, but I still hope, I, I have no idea, but I still hope one day they'll have a have him back. That would be great. It's like the, the one with the missing piece, right? Yeah. Um, he's really busy right now. <laughs> so I don't know how or when that could ever happen. But, um, <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Hey. With Jeffrey uh, Dean Morgan, how did y'all feel with him being on The Walking Dead as me? <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but very proud. <laughs> I, and he is, well, we, we both know Jeff very well, and he is a sincerely kind and beautiful man. And to see somebody that is truly good in their heart and soul play that much of a badass, I was proud because he, he just killed it, because he's that talented. And that just made, that made his two... 
His two sons are very proud. Yeah. I had a similar but slightly different reaction where I was like, man, I am such a better hunter than dad. <laughs> He's having trouble with zombies. Here's, hey, let's, we're gonna film a scene from, we're gonna perform a scene from The Walking Dead. Right now. I'm gonna play a zombie. He's gonna play somebody, a, a character in The Walking Dead. Anyone, take your pick. Lucifer, the darkness. <laughs> Give me a stumbling zombie any day of the week. I'll go back to sleep. Well, I'm very proud of you. Love Well, I just wanted to say, I don't want y'all, anybody here who may be a Negan fan, I don't want y'all to hate me, but I am not a fan of Negan. I hear you. I hear you. I think there's a lot of people that aren't fans of Negan. <laughs> but we all love you. Here. But we all love you. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. That was a rough hour of television, I will say that. Yeah. Like, oh, Dad's a badass. He's got a baseball bat. No, no, when he uh, uh, when he was in uh, when he was in the band, he would he had a, like a fully auto bat. He was just picking them off. The bat was for the humans. <laughs> I guess I don't have to watch now. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Any other movies or shows you want to ruin for all of us? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen Titanic? It sinks. <laughs> oh you just saved me three and a half hours of my life. <laughs> I wish somebody would have told me that. Yeah, it but, wins. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, my question is, uh, do you have a, like a favorite moment or something on, on set that, of Supernatural that really sticks out for you? You know, that whole thing is kind of a blur now. One, I'm friggin' old. <laughs> my memory is fading quickly. Um, what I remember, you know, for some reason the episode Shadow really uh, sticks with me. <laughs> That was, that was my personal favorite episode for a, a, a lot of reasons, but really what stands out is kind of the first time, and I knew Jared Jensen, obviously, at that point, but it was the first time that the father and son were kind of reunited. Um, and I think we all were kind of so looking forward to that moment, besides having the giggles all the time. And, <laughs> I have a tendency to break. I, I'm not good at serious stuff uh, on the set. Uh, it happened with Grey's Anatomy, in the middle of me dying, I'd start laughing. <laughs> Supernatural, same thing. Yeah. And, you know, when I die, I'm gonna giggle. If I'm hurt, I'm gonna laugh. Um, and, and I genuinely like to break down whoever's around me with me. So, we were never good at getting through a day without the crew just kind of rolling their eyes and going, Okay, well, we wasted another hour because Jeff's laughing his ass off. <laughs> so what I, I think my fondest memories are just kind of that, the, the initial bonding uh, that we were having, you know, a, a new show, uh, year one, and kind of finding our feet in, in that show and also sort of falling in love with each other. You know, that, that's what I, and, well, yeah, what's not to love, and, and and now I'm still friends with these guys, and I gotta tell you, I, I, I've been around for a while, and I've done a couple shows and a couple movies, and there's very few people that I have remained in contact for certainly not 10 years. Huh? <laughs> Quadruple shit.
shot. Um, and Jared and Jensen are at the top of the list of guys that I uh, love. Them so. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, it was the first the first time I've seen Sam. So yeah, there we are, Winchester's, huh? Yeah. 